Okay, so my name is Darren Smith. I'm a senior in high school, and this is my layout. Uh, it's not much, and this yard is based off of Bryant with a few changes to fit a few tracks. And I basically model the Iowa Northern, ICE, BNSF, and CNW. But the Iowa Northern is the main focus here. And we'll talk about them here in a little bit. So this was the first one that we got. $24.93. I've had it since I was little. And it's just DCC. It needs some new gears in the trucks because it clicks a lot. But eventually I'd like to put TCS Wow Sound into it. This is the 9016. It's one of my newest units that I got last year. It's a Walther's. It came with a cheap lock sound that I hated. So I went and bought a TCS 121 decoder and popped it in. And now it runs pretty well. I'd like to put a Keep Alive in it. And this used to be on the Iowa Northern as well after it worked on the Cedar Valley. The real one had four exhaust stacks, but I'm gonna leave it as two. I added the horsed air intake up top. I'm going to be removing the IC logo and the lettering. And then it needs a little IANR decal underneath the number on the side of the cab. Then it'll get dirtied up like how it was when it was on the Iowa Northern. This will be a caboose down the road. It used to be a Missouri Pacific Atherin Roundhouse, but I removed the logos and the numbers. And here's the interesting ones. I got Iowa Northern 4001, 2, and 3. And I added a little cool detail on these. I don't know if you can tell yet, but look at the bell on the 4003 compared to the 2 and the 1. The 1 and 2 both have electric bells, and the 3 still has its old bell. But another little fact about them, the real units, the 4002 only has those 3 radiator fans exactly how it looks. The three and the one both have a smaller one in the middle or shorter. And for them being Atherin Genesis, I'm not too proud of the lights. You can see it bleeding through in some places and how the light is so much dimmer on this one. The two probably has the most mileage on it and it needs a new worm gear or something because it doesn't run very quiet anymore. The three and the one have been in the box most of their life. But then I also got some custom Iowa Northern grain hoppers from William Sampson on Sioux to Milwaukee Road. You can check out his channel. It's pretty neat. In one of the episodes, you can actually see a glimpse of the decals. And all these grain cars through here, on the next string back, are future Iowa Northern grain cars, but not yet. Then here I got another little decal made from William. The ICE logo. I was going to make this 222 a former Great Western, 
and cut out the nose, but I decided not to on this one. I added all the handrails and the grab irons. And then here's the ice hopper. I added the reflective stripes on it. Same as this one. Then these two units could quite possibly become lease units that were previously on the Isle of Northern for a while. But I haven't decided on that yet. And to get on to something else, I just got a whole bunch of ice decals for future locomotives. And here's Williams. decals that he made for me. Let's see. The 222. We'll see how well they work out down the road. And then I got a few projects. These are future Iowa Northern 38s. They just need their maroon added. This one will be the 3607. And then that one will be the 3609, the original 238 in the paint scheme that they have now. Those two are not on the railroad anymore. And then this one will be the 3800. I might make a second one later on that's a little bit better. These are just practice units for now. The six and then, or the seven and the nine both had non-dynamic braking fans. And I got those in the mail and fitted them in. I still have to add the CSX style ditch lights to this unit. And this is the reason why it's a test unit. for the Because I can mess up on these ones. Then I got a whole bunch of decals here. For Iowa Northern units. And the Hawkeye Express. And I got a few green hopper decals left from William. These are from Highball Graphics and Switchline decals. I have a few passenger cars that I could eventually turn into the Hawkeye Express cars. And someday a future project of making an F40 with the short nose on it for a walkway on the front. I'd probably do 458 or 461. Then down the road, I would like to make 610, 609, 2492, 361, and possibly 1843. These were, I got these a while back with the highball graphics decals. And then recently I came across the F40 decals for the Iowa Northern. So I'm pretty happy with those. And then here's some more green hopper decals. But then here's another project. I recently got decals in to make BNSF 3158 with the five man crew cab. And this is an old blue box chassis and motor, I believe. But I'm debating on trying to fit this shell onto my Athern Genesis. I really don't run this unit much. It's just DCC. It has a beacon on it, Tiger Stripe. I've debated on selling it, but haven't decided yet. Or I might just go to Athern and try and purchase a frame and motor and trucks for this. Then I also have a few locomotives for sale here. I've decided to sell these three. The CNW 4410. It kind of stalls a lot. And I noticed the front wheel is kind of messed up on it i don't know why but it's always had that stalling problem since the day i got it and the 1392 runs pretty good same as the mn and s 
number 40. They all have DCC in sound. I got these two in 2015 and this one in 2016. This one has probably spent half, if not more, of its life in the box. These two have quite a few miles on them. They've been good units, but I don't really have a use for them anymore. I'd like to sell this one for 100, 110, and then 120. Thank you for checking out my layout. I also got these calendars for the Island Order. Thank you for watching.